Boem, Lisa Segmiller will sing Mi Chiamano Mimi, They Call Me Mimi.
Lisa Segmiller singing Mi Chiamano Mi Mi. This is Highway 89, a live performance program broadcast on Sirius XM 143 BYU Radio and Classical 89. I'm Eric Glissmeyer. Lisa Segmiller is a Tony Award-winning musician best known for her portrayal of Mi Mi in La Boheme on Broadway. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. There are bound to be people listening who hadn't heard until just a moment ago that La Boheme was ever performed on Broadway. Would you take just a moment and talk about that production? Absolutely. Uh, La Boheme on Broadway was uh, was quite a historic production. Um, Baz Luhrmann's intent was to bring opera back to its origins, which was really for the masses, for the people. And so the idea of bringing an opera, a greatly beloved opera by Puccini, that's so accessible, I think, in the beauty of its, uh, of the music, to Broadway, directed by a Hollywood film director, Baz Luhrmann, um, could really be accessible for the masses. And not only that, um, but he, his intent was, was to stage, um, stage it sort of like a film, like a black and white film. And the characters, the principals, were the only ones who were actually in color. So it was very interesting. And also, he wanted specifically to cast the production with young singers in their early 20s to later 20s. So I was actually the youngest cast member at 23, which is pretty close to the actual character of Mimi. Um, and this is actually quite different from from a lot of other productions of Bohem, where normally given the um, requirements of opera, uh, it generally requires a much older or larger, um, heavier person to sing the demands of the opera to project over the audience. And so this was, this was somewhat, um, somewhat new of an idea to cast it all very young. Um, and it was triple cast so that we didn't blow out our voices, <laughs> which was great. Um, Different so, than a lot of Broadway yeah, lines where you're singing. Yeah, exactly, what? where you're singing like nine shows yeah. a week. <laughs> yeah, so this was very doable for our voices, and, and none of us actually blew out, so that was a good thing. Good. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. What do you enjoy most about playing the character of Mimi? You know, I have to say that I love the music most of all. Um, Puccini is brilliant in the specificity in which he... Um, notates exactly what he wants. And if all you do is sing the music according to the way that he wrote it, therein you discover the character. And Mimi is quite a profound person. Um, she is simple in her appreciation of simple beauties in nature, like the sun, uh, the petals of a rose, the smell of a rose, which her first aria, her introduction aria, speaks a little bit about. Uh, but she also loves deeply, and she's deeply in, sen uh, in tune to her senses, to smells and sights and touch. Um, and, of course, the love story with Rodolfo is just so charming. Uh, he, I think, is her first love. Um, he brings her to life. He brings her world into color. Um, she embroiders flowers, and she says, you know, the, the flowers that I embroider don't have a smell, uh, and yet, and, and this seems to be what her whole life was like. She was alone and uh, sort of her world was in black and white, I think. And then when she meets Rodolfo, um, her world comes to life and she understands what, what love truly is and what life truly is because of that. And that's just a beautiful, beautiful kind of story to portray. All right. Well, thank you, Lisa. Now it's time to introduce Stephen Dubberly. He's the music director of opera at North